tonight, a Johnson County judge is paving the way for same sex couples. He issued an order okaying same sex marriages, and some couples, including one from Gardner, are already taking advantage. KBC 9's Eli Rosenberg is live outside the courthouse. Eli. Well, at least two couples have come here to apply for marriage license ever since this order went down around 3 o'clock this afternoon, and more are certainly expected tomorrow. Now, the judge told me this order actually started yesterday when a couple walked up these steps right here looking to get married. <laughs> With the camera rolling, taking just ready for the date, taking all the other steps. Yeah. So that day was today. As Jennifer and Angela Schaefer rushed up to the Johnson County Courthouse after a hearing on Facebook, the county's chief district judge ordered the clerk here to start accepting same sex marriage licenses. Oh, it means everything. I mean, this is our life. This is where we live. You know, you don't want to have to go somewhere else. So it's huge. In the order, Judge Kevin Moriarty wrote this order is to provide guidance and prevent confusion. The judge telling me off camera a same sex couple's request for a marriage license last night, believed to be the first in Johnson County, prompted him to act. Hours before the judge's order, KMBC 9's Michael Mahoney asked Governor Sam Brown back to weigh in. The <laughs> people of Kansas vote on it. Mike, I've, I've made my comments on it. The Brownback administration is probably going to fight it, but Judge Moriarty did the right thing today. So we'll see how things play out. Best $85 you ever spent? Yeah, it will be. Back outside the courthouse. Yeah, this feels good. The Schaefers are anxious for what might happen during the mandatory three day waiting period. I think once you take a step like this, it's going to be hard to, uh, to take a full step back. Now, Judge Moriarty was quick to tell me that this represents his interpretation of the law, not the opinions of other judges here in Johnson County. This courthouse is expected to be busy tomorrow. Doors open at 8 a.m. Live in Olathe, Eli Rosenberg, KMBC 9 News. A ban on gay marriage was added to the state's constitution back in 2005. Earlier this week, the U.S. Supreme Court did not act on a lower court's ruling that such bans violate the U.S. Constitution. So I asked a KU professor of constitutional law whether the state constitution is valid after today. He told me federal constitution is superior to and trumps state constitution. There's fairly clear now precedent that the Kansas constitutional ban on same-sex marriages or the marriage provision of the Constitution defining marriage as, as between one man and one woman, uh, that that provision is invalid under the Tenth Circuit precedent. 